Greetings, welcome to the Cooper Studio, Grinnell, Iowa. Come on, let's go inside and talk about summer. It's studio tour day. At this studio, we talk a lot about summer. In fact, we paint a lot about summer. Let me show you the biggest and newest. It's a legend, right? But maybe we should begin at the beginning. After all, who wants to paint a roller coaster? Actually, I have a project going on called Studies to Studio Okaboji. It began last summer and when I got to take four great trips to the Iowa Great Lakes and do absolutely nothing but paint. The premise was to paint on plein air, which means painting on location, as many small studies as is humanly possible in one summer's time. 48 of these small studies happened, but then summer left us and it was time to bring them all back to my studio here in Grinnell and begin the second step of the project. In that second step, I create the studio painting of the studies to studios Okaboji project. My goal is to create a painting that is more defined, more detailed, more developed. Let's use this one as an example to show how I worked at that. So on location, I did two small studies. This was the first. It got kind of dark down in the bottom, and so I tried a second because I wanted to get the magic and the light happening. And then with these two studies and my memories of the location, this is the painting that happened. So I'm the kind of painter when I need somebody on the canvas smiling, I crank up my own smile because that compels them to smile along with me as I paint them. In the case of the legend, while I was on location, I watched those cars go up those rails a bazillion times. And you could tell the ones with their hands in the air were the ones having fun. And so while I painted this studio painting, I thought a lot about hands in the air. And it was so much fun. Let's look at another painting, okay? This plein air study happened on my first painting adventure trip of last summer. And when it came time to do the studio variant this last fall, it seemed right not to change the composition or the format for this studio painting. It's a 40 by 40 canvas, and I think it says pretty much everything that's needed about that location. It was kind of fun. I had about a half hour left to go on this little study, and this golf cart drives onto the scene and parks right there, and it was almost five o'clock. So it earned the painting its name of Happy Hour at Smoke and Jake's. And you're wondering, is there going to be an exhibit of all this? Yes, there is. Our exhibit plan is to frame the small studies and then hang them at the exhibit next to the studio painting that they've inspired. So it's kind of like an if-then statement in paint. The exhibit will be at the Pearson Lakes Art Center, and the dates for that are June 17th through August 14th of this coming summer, 2021. So here's another painting I'd like to show you. Not quite finished yet, but we'll get there. Here is the plein air study that inspired it. This was a really early morning piece, and that was important because this big old tree off to the left here caught the early morning sun and made really nice long shadow patterns into the center of the scene. 
even more importantly is the way it let the light through and just splattered it all over the place making it a really fun and magical painting to paint so we all know this place and many of you will know oops there's something missing yet so up on top of that roof there there's a big green fish right and we need to get that painted in before we can call this one finished even though it's not finished it already has its name morning coffee with the O'Farrells by now you're wondering if you get to see all the studio paintings today and nope that's not happening but I do want to show you this one before we go we all know this spot right it's the big old arch over the street just outside Arnold's Park here is the planar study I did on location I painted this on a red toned canvas and you can see little bits of that coming through up in the corner so even though I painted it in June it kind of feels like autumn with that red showing through up there in an ironic kind of way it works for me because I've always paraphrased this sign as thanks for a great season see you next summer surely the sign means summer 2021 right anyway i hope to see you all this summer 2021 at the pearson lakes art center for the exhibit and i thank you for stopping by